This is how a visually impaired athlete plays goalball. Well, the ball has a bell in it. You train your ears to uh, track the ball. Since vision isn't required to play the sport, when these athletes step onto the court, they leave their disability behind. So many skills of uh, spatial awareness, understanding angles, understanding sounds and echoes, and uh, all that stuff comes with being blind. The game is played by rolling the ball down the court. The other team listens for the bells in the ball and tries to save it from rolling into the goal behind them, using any part of their body they can. Not being able to see a ball coming at you 45 plus miles an hour, where your natural instincts is to get out of the way. You have to unlearn a lot of that. Goal ball players Matt Simpson and Eddie Monroe have been visually impaired their entire lives. And life off the court can be a challenge for people with little or no vision. When you have a disability or what people perceive as a disability, you're always behind the eight ball. They hear a lot of baseball, they hear a lot of, of football, you know, and they want, want would like, like anyone else, they want to identify sometimes with something bigger and greater. And so goal ball provides that outlet. Athletes can compete in goal ball from the recreational youth level all the way to the Paralympics. Paralympics means parallel to the Olympic Games, but everything that, you, that you're familiar with with the Olympics applies to the Paralympic Games. It's not uh, an opportunity most people get, so, um, you know, when you go out there and represent the USA, that's, that's a pretty cool feeling. This court is a haven for the visually impaired, where their disability actually gives them an advantage. This is a sport where the blinder you are, the better you are, more often than not. And while winning a gold medal is the dream of most athletes, for goalball players like Simpson, the biggest victory was finally finding an arena where his athletic talents were able to shine in spite of his blindness. When your superstar athlete, sighted friend, puts on a blindfold, he's lost and and uh, you might be scrawny and blind, but you, you go out there and you, uh, you tell them what to do and how to do it, and it's pretty cool.